Hello all, Shoestring here. I have talked with a lot of people that think solar energy is very complicated, very expensive, and difficult to set up. This may be what your local solar power system sales folks would like you to believe, but it's not true. A few essential components is all you really need. Logically, the two major components of a solar power system are the solar panel, which will convert sunlight into electrical power, and a battery to store that power until you're ready to use it. However, there are some problems with trying to hook these two components up. You're going to have to have a solar panel. This is a simple 1.5 watt solar panel. Got it from Harbor Freight. It's about $24. Solar panels, which we see right here, I have several different types. I've got this Harbor Freight kit that's 45 watt solar panels. And over here, I have another that's 100 watt solar panels. The solar panels receive sunlight and transform that sunlight into electrical power. It's in direct current. As long as the sun is shining on the solar panels, the panel will continue to produce electricity. The more sunshine, the more electricity is generated. This 100 watt you see right here will generate more power, of course, than the 45 watt that is right here. Now, of course, the 45 watt was a lot less expensive. So depending on what you're going to charge, you have to determine what type of solar panels you're going to get, how many, and what size. We usually want a steadier source of electricity than just coming through the solar panels because the solar panels, the moment the sun stops shining, they stop working. So our first step in assembling our solar system is to hook the solar panels to the charge regulator. The charge controller is extremely important because it makes sure that the batteries do not overheat from too much electricity also got it from Harbor Freight, and it is a hundred watt. Right here, I have the solar panels, just so you can see as a demonstration, wired up to a standard deep cycle battery. You can see that right there. Deep cycle battery with standard clamps from the solar panels. Hopefully you can see that. They're wired down to the battery. Now, since we don't want to overcharge the battery, we connect the battery to a solar charge regulator or just a charge controller between the panels and the battery. And you can see that right here. Get out where you can see it a little better. This is a very simple one, which is all we're talking about today, how easy a solar system is. The solar panel comes with a standard connector, which hooks to the standard connector on the regulator. So, solar panel, standard connector, regulator, standard connector. They are clearly marked. This connector goes to the battery. This connector, which we're going to use next, will connect to the solar panel. This last one, by the way, is called a load. I have it taped off so it won't cause any electrical problems. If anyone would like to know what this is used for and how, simply write it down, put it down in the comments, and I'll be happy to show you. Real simple. Connected together. Connect this to the battery. Next, of course, you have your two clamps to put them on your battery. You take the black clamp and you put it on the negative to the battery. You can see that it says negative. Then, also you can see the plus over there for the positive. You connect it to the positive. So, solar panels wired together to charge controller that keeps it, the charge from overwhelming the battery. That's why it's called a charge controller. 
This protects the battery, like I said, from getting too much current at any one time. So it's actually an integral part of the system. Anytime you're going to do battery backup, remember, you're going to need a charge controller to protect your battery. Once the battery is fully charged, you want to connect it to an inverter. All the energy we have collected from the sun now moves over to the inverter. The inverter is what changes the electrical power that you receive from the sun, which is DC power, into AC power, which is what you'll use to run most of your devices. I brought a much smaller battery up here and a typical inverter. Now inverters, like solar panels, come in all different shapes and sizes and uses. I will do a separate video on the different types of inverters to help you pick the one you need. At the moment, we're talking about a simple solar system. You have your solar panels, which has charged up your battery. Now that you have a fully charged battery, you can now use that energy that you've stored. 400 watt inverter. It will do most small things. Laptops, tablets, and cell phones. Smartphones or regular cell phones. This one is pretty simple to use. It has an off and on switch. It has USB and regular plug-ins for your normal devices, which I'm going to show now. We're going to turn it on. It's coming on, and it will show you, almost all of them will, the charge of the battery. This is 13.0, so this battery is fully charged and ready to go. We're going to take just a regular cell phone I have here, one of mine. We simply take it and plug it into the inverter, like we would any other device we had. Let me show you how we do that. Plug it in just like you would anything else. And as you can hopefully see, the cell phone comes on and starts to charge. And that, friends, is how a basic solar system works. Let's walk through it one more time to make sure we've covered everything. You start out with solar panels. The solar panels take energy from the sun and transforms that energy into electrical current, which we take and store through a charge controller into a battery, which is happening right here. Once the battery is fully charged, we can now take this energy and use it when we have an inverter. The inverter takes the energy from the battery and allows you to use it for your regular devices. It takes the current from the battery, DC, and turns it into AC so you can use it on whenever you want to charge. That's how it basically works. If you like this, please put down that you like it and, of course, follow if you want to see more videos like this. Comment if you have any. I like comments. It gives me more ideas of things to put out there to help folks. Shoestring out.